Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to share with you a reference of Sheikh Allama Maulana Abdul Hay Laknawi rahmatullahi alayhi. He was a Hanafi scholar from the subcontinent and even the Ahlul Hadith scholars of the Ahli Hadith sect. So not the traditional Ahlul Hadith from the Salaf, the Ahli Hadith sect. Those scholars also had held him in high regard. They used to say about him that he's not you know, an extreme Hanafi, etc. So let's see what he has to say regarding Taraweeh and 20 Raka'ah. Right. So we have a reference here. Like I said previously, in my previous video, um, inshallah on our Telegram channel, you can find this scan, the link of which is in the comments and the description. So this is from the book of Hazrat Maulana Hafiz Zahoor Ahmad Al Husseini, Hafizahullah, a very muhaqqiq, um, high caliber research alim, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and give him a long life for the service of the deen. So he quotes, he says, Allama Abdul Hay Laknawi rahimahullah has said, Inna majmu'a ishreen raka'atan fi taraweeh sunnatun mu'akkadatun. That the uh, 20 raka'a taraweeh uh, is a sunnah mu'akkad, emphasized sunnah. Li'annahu mimma wadab alayhi al-khulafa'u. Because it is something that the the Khulafa Rashidun have done Muadabat on. Muadabat is basically continuously practice this without leaving it out. Wa illam yuadib alayhi an Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Even though the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never continuously offered 20 rak'ah because we all, we all know the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam offered taraweeh three nights and then, you know, um, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left it because he feared it becoming an obligation upon the ummah. What did the Sahaba gather upon? The Khulafa Rashidun was 20. This is something which is known, right? Now, he says, وَقَدْ سَبَقَ and the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidun is also necessary to be followed. And the person who leaves the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidun is sinful. وَإِنْ كَانَ إِثْمُهُ دُونَ إِثْمِ تَارِكِ سُنَّةِ النَّبَوِيَّةِ Even though his sin is lesser in degree than the sunnah, the, the, the one who leaves the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the person who leaves the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidun is sinful but less in sin than the one who leaves the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what is the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the rak'ah of the raweeh? I've just mentioned to you, even the Salafi scholars who they revere, Right, have made clear that nothing is authentically proven in terms of raka from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The amounts of raka from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in taraweeh. Now, whosoever only offers eight, he suffices on eight, and that's it. Thamani rakaatin yakunu musi'an. He is a wrongdoer. He's doing wrong. Litarkihi sunnat al khulafai because he's left out the sunnah of the khulafa Rashidun. Right. So now what is he saying? He's saying that leaving the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidun is a sin. Lesser in degree than the sunnah, leaving the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. What is the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ in this regard? It is not known authentically. So we must stick to the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidun because that indicates towards the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ has gone out of his way to specify and emphasize, hold on to my sunnah and hold on to the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidun. So my brothers, and then it's, you know, a lengthy quote here, right? I leave it inshallah in... The telegram, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable our Salafi brothers to understand and our brothers who are just looking at people walk out after eight and just do what people are doing. May Allah grant them understanding that we should not be doing this. We should be play, praying according to the way of the Salaf and the cream of the Salaf are the Khulafa Rashidun. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding and the ability to stand in Taraweeh and also more for Tahajjud. Inshallah in the future I will make clear that Tahajjud, Qiyamul Layl, this is separate and Taraweeh is separate. This is something which is clearly established from authentic Hadith and the earlier classical scholars. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq to exert ourselves. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.